guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, okay, so I don't think I have vlogged. I, no, I actually no, I haven't vlogged since Chicago, which was the beginning of August. And Morgan and I were kind of talking about this, like we just, we weren't really feeling motivated to vlog like during camp and everything. I don't know, it just like, we are like, we need a little break and then we'll start it back up once the season starts. Cause then it's like a lot more fun and we can take you like on some of the games and everything. Um, whew, guys, this past week has been stressful. Honestly, like just like the past few days cause it was cuts for um, the NFL teams. They're getting down from like 90 people to 53 on their roster. And just like, it's, it's so awful because like you see some of your best friends get cut and go to different teams. And it's so sad because there's nothing you can do about it. And like, whereas it's the biggest, biggest freaking blessing to if you get cut to go to another team for sure, obviously, but just like so your best friends are moving away. And it's just so like, and it happens like this, like in an instant, they get a call, the guys are on a flight and they're gone. And then you're looking up your next place to live and trying to break your lease at the place you're at. And like, it's just, there's just a lot of emotions. So, um, some of our friends got cut. So like I'm following their journey, seeing where they're going. Um, it's, it's just like, it's a lot. So just thinking of everyone right now, cause it's such a crazy time. Um, Joe, he, luckily we are good because he made the 53 man roster, which is our fourth year in the league. And it's his first time making it right off the bat. Like we've had injuries. He's been on P-Squad, like everything. So that was like a super exciting thing. Um, very proud of him. Like it's stressful and he works so hard. So like to see him um, be like rewarded was amazing. So we're staying in Cincy and I'm so happy. Um, but we're losing one of our absolute best friends, Kayla and Hakeem, except they're going to the Vikings and that's awesome because that is a great team, great atmosphere. We had a friend there um, and he loved it. So I'm so excited for them and it's fine because we can stay in touch and everything. And we even play the Vikings this year. So we'll plan so many trips to see each other. But that's a little update um, with that. Another update I wanna give is that literally next weekend, you guys, September 9th, first of all, the season starts. We play Cleveland in Cleveland on Sunday. Um, but then also I am going to this Cincy Fitness Sampler and I'm putting on a BBH workout for like, Paige, Paige who puts it on, said like 200 or so people. And mind you, I'm very social, but I have never led a like live workout, especially with that so I am like super nervous, but it's also going to be like such a good opportunity for like exposure for my app and everything. And Morgan's coming with me and she's going to help me. And so that's the biggest blessing ever. And I'm really excited to like meet some of these people that I talk to on Instagram all the time, you know, like meet some of my clients and everything. So that's next Saturday. And then we're going to go to Cleveland for the game. Um, so that'll be super fun. I can't wait to see Joe's family. It's been forever since I've seen them. And then the season's just underway, you guys, and we're busy every weekend. Um, shoot, I just thought of something, but I don't want to tell you guys yet. So I'm going to wait on that thought, which is, that's horrible to do to you guys, but I don't want to say it yet. Um, okay, what else? Let's keep playing catch up. It's so fun. I've been reading. Where's my, this iPad, you guys, did I tell you? I can't remember if I told you this is from 2013. And I found it in my childhood room, charged it, and it still works. So I've been reading books off of it. And I wanted to just mention some of the um, recent books that I have been loving because I'm in a really big like bookworm phase right now. I, I'm not sure why I like go in and out of them, I feel like, but right now I am in it. So I remember on my last YouTube, I showed you guys a lot of like my hard copy books, but I want to tell you about some of the recent like um, ones I read off of iBooks. <laughs> I do want to get a Kindle at some point, honestly, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this bad boy is 10 years old and she still works. Okay, so did I talk about hidden pictures? I can't remember, but if I didn't, it's a really scary one. It's like perfect for like going into the fall and Halloween. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys names because as we know, I'm horrible at explaining. So hidden pictures, um, everyone here is lying. None of this is true. Jar of hearts. And then I just read Home Before Dark. Um, but here, can you, can you guys kind of see? 
some of the covers. I think my next one is going to be The Pact because it literally cost 99 cents and I was like, yes, I feel like I'm spending so much money recently on books, but I've been loving it. So those are the ones I recently read that I have loved. So look them up, Hidden Pictures, Everyone Here is Lying, None of This is True, and Jar of Hearts, Home Before Dark. So look some of those up. I recently followed like so many book Instagram accounts and they have been so helpful in me picking my next book because I love psychological thrillers is my number one. I love murders. I love mystery. I even love romance. Honestly, I love when like a psychological thriller has romance in it. Best of both worlds. So that's an update with my reading. Um, let's see any other updates. Got my hair done. You guys, we went back to blonde because my natural roots are so dark and so it feels good to be blonde again. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. The boys are off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we have some plans with Morgan and Logan. We're gonna do dinner Saturday night. We're gonna go to a Reds game. So I honestly just wanna take you along for the whole weekend. I have nothing like set in stone that I wanna show you guys, but I'm just gonna bring you along, okay? Let's enjoy this Labor Day weekend. And then, then the season starts, so. Let's do this, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, we are back. It is still Thursday. It's a little later in the day. Um, after I talked to you guys this morning, I went to the gym, I recorded BBH, and then I had a few phone calls. Um, one of them was kind of about wedding planning, which I know you like are all super excited to hear about the wedding planning. Um, it's going good, it's going well. I just will say, so it's in my hometown in Michigan. Um, and it's just such a small town that like vendors is kind of a hard thing, but we are making through you guys. We honestly have a few vendors coming from different areas, um, but slow and steady, we are doing it next June. Wow, <laughs> excited. A little bit more um, wedding dress shopping though. Like I found a style I love, but we wanna keep looking. But I wanna show you, I went to um, Fresh Time. I literally went to Fresh Time, you guys, to get garbanzo beans to make my homemade hummus. Um, and then I ended up getting more, so let's show you. First things first, I got a kombucha in GTs, you guys. It's literally my favorite. I just love kombucha. I drink them at literally every single dinner if I have it. Next thing is pineapple. <laughs> I'm addicted to pineapple, you guys. So I, I got one that's kind of like ready to go because I want to cut her like right now. Um, I slam pineapple before like every single lunch. And then I was out of strawberries, so I got some strawberries. Um, I really wasn't sure if I already had this, but I got some cauliflower and they don't have um, Noble made the mustard barbecue at Fresh Time, so I got the Primal Kitchen one. Can you see? Yes. So I got that for cauliflower. Get some new toothpaste. Um, Been using this kind, it's a different flavor. I'm excited to try. Got some beans. So we did actually get the one thing I went for. Got some beans to make hummus, which I'm gonna make that for dinner because I'm out and I eat hummus at every single lunch and dinner. <laughs> um, I got some chicken because you're kind of low on protein sources just because end of the week kind of. And this is one of my favorite Kevin's, the lemongrass. So I saw it and I had to get it. And then I just got some broccoli and olive oil. So like kind of just like a mini little random haul, but got some essentials for the weekend. So now I'm going to, I think, marinate the cauliflower in that sauce, air fry it, cut up my pineapple and make some hummus. So. That is next on the agenda, you guys. It is 525 and Joey should come home at like 545 and then he's off, so. Also, the new Equalizer movie just came out, which you guys don't know, but I'm obsessed with Denzel Washington. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. And this is the third one and it comes out tonight. So we'll probably go tomorrow night, or at least I really hope so. <laughs> I love movie theaters. Okay, guys, I may show you my hummus. I'm not sure yet, we'll just see, so. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, wait, I'm back. Like literally not even a minute later. <laughs> but I'm making my cauliflower. Actually, I wanted to show you. Okay. Yum. Why am I so bad at this? I mean, I could literally just turn the camera around. Come on, does that not look so good? 
I'm so excited. So all that was is extra virgin olive oil and then what I just showed you guys. And then I'm going to put it in the air fryer at probably 390 for like 20 minutes. So let's do that. So then while that cooks, I am going to make some hummus. So what I've been putting in my hummus lately, you guys, is, okay, so simple, garlic. A little garlic, um, yeah, minced garlic, garbanzo beans, salt. I kind of like a little pepper, I'm not gonna lie. Um, olive oil and tahini, which I just got this like squeezable tahini. This stuff is amazing and it makes it so easy because I don't know, sometimes I feel like it gets all stuck and everything and oily with the spoon. So let's make some hummus, you guys know? And then I'll show you it once I'm done because I like to jam to music while I make it. <laughs> okay, guys, I made it. So, okay, we're gonna turn you around. <gasps> Look at her. She looks so good. I'm trying to get you to focus. There we go. <gasps> wow, okay. I am low key kind of pumped about this, you guys. I've been literally loving making my own hummus for, I got this little handy dandy KitchenAid. You just charge it, she doesn't even plug in. Um, like two weeks ago now, and I've been making my own hummus, which is probably saving me a lot of money because I swear hummus is expensive and I fly through it. So, smells like fresh garlic, I'm obsessed. Um, all right, and now I'm gonna go figure out what I wanna make for dinner. I do have a baked Japanese sweet potato, so I'm probably gonna have that, the cauliflower, and then probably Kevin's. Kevin sounds so good. Also, I started a new book, you guys. Um, Jennifer Hillier is the brand. I just read Jar of Hearts by her and was obsessed with it. This is Little Secrets, and I'm literally in the middle of like the sample. I sample books before I buy them on my iPad. I'm already loving it, so I have high hopes for it. I'll tell you how it goes. And then also, if you have not watched Who is Aaron Carter on Netflix, one of my favorite shows ever. She is a beast, so watch that. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Okay, wow. It is now Friday morning. Um, wait, this is so funny. So I don't usually work out like before, like my prime time is like, in the 10 o'clock hour, okay? And yesterday Morgan was like, do you wanna go to Orange Theory at 6 a.m.? 6 a.m., honey. And I was, like, I was like, honey, I love you, but no. <laughs> so now we're going at 10.45 and I'm like, yes. So I wanna show you my little outfit because I am obsessed with these tank tops that are from Aloe. Aloe just opened up in our mall here and it is so comfy. I feel like it's like a perfect length. It has the little, can you see? <laughs> Racerback, um, so comfy. And then just classic Alpha Late spandex. But I am ready to go get my booty worked at this um, class. I never know what to expect. Like, also I heard they just got brand new um, treadmills that go up to like 15 miles per hour. So good luck. <laughs> And then Joey and I are actually gonna go see a movie to, to later, Equalizer 3 with Denzel Washington. I'm so excited. Um, then we'll probably just have a chill night and just hang out. I don't know, it feels good to just have a weekend off before the crazy season starts. So stay tuned, I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys. Okay, so it is now Saturday. I was gonna record my workout for you, but to be honest, you guys, it was just another leg day and I feel like you've seen so many of those. So I decided to just skip it, but I wanna show you my outfit. I'm wearing all Notre Dame stuff, you guys, in honor of Notre Dame playing today. Cause I don't know if you know, but one of my brothers is now coaching there. So, and I have like huge history with Notre Dame with my family, you know, so we are already a fan, but now with Max coaching there, even a bigger fan. <laughs> I am so sweaty, you guys, but I literally, <laughs> It was so sad, you guys. Kayla just posted like a um, Instagram post about Hakeem and them moving and just like how amazing the past three years and since you've been, I'm gonna start crying again. I started bowling in the gym and like I was so embarrassed because there's like people behind me and they're probably hearing me, but I couldn't help it. They're just like literally our best friends. <laughs> ah, I didn't wanna cry. <laughs> it's just sad.
<laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Just don't want to lose them. Okay, I'm... <laughs> it's okay. We can always visit them. It's okay. All right, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you once I have collected myself. Hello, guys. Okay, we are all ready. We're going to dinner. Sorry, we wish... <laughs> Here's the bed. I'm even wearing heels again. We are going to the new Jeff Ruby's down. To, well, it's been a few months now, but we haven't been to it yet. The new one on Vine Street. We're so excited. We hear it's like really cool that like there's a piano on top of the bar and stuff. So we're going with Logan and Morgan and um, Trevor, which is Logan's dad's in town visiting this weekend. So so excited, you guys. Um, I will show you what we get. We really want sushi, right, Joey? Appetizer. Yes, appetizer, sushi, and then filet for dinner with some sides. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Look how cute you guys. We're vlogging. Okay. <laughs> this is so cute, you guys. How fancy we are tonight. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so we are back from dinner now. It was, so, guys, so good. All my Cincy people, the new location downtown was off the charts. I like the vibe was totally different and like, Okay, so we didn't actually sit where like the bar was with the piano and everything. So next time I go, I really want to do that because the band was amazing and it looked so fun. I think it'd be fun to just go and like get a drink and sit at the bar too. So it was, we got a Houdé roll, sushi roll, mega block roll, and I got a filet. They cooked it mm, perfectly because I like medium rare. Hey, it was perfect. We got Brussels sprouts, asparagus, Joey got lobster gnocchi. Um, we got really, my drink was really good. It was a Paloma and I don't know, they just, they knew what they were doing there. So dinner was fabulous. Um, I also wanted to show you guys something that I just got. So I have probably been debating on getting the Aurora, your, sorry, my hair is kind of greasy now. The Aurora ring, I can't say it. Um, for like a solid year or so, I would say, honestly, but it's because I have an Apple watch and like, I love it, but I'm not going to lie. I'll be the first to say I was one of those people that became obsessed with it. Like I had to close my rings, do all of that stuff. <laughs> so I kind of gave it up for a while just for my mental health. And so I was like, do I really want the ring? Because it's kind of like that too, right? You know, like tracking things. But then I decided, I was like, okay, you know what? I've been thinking about this for like over a year. I really wanna pull the trigger on it because I don't sleep the best. So I really, really want, I know it's like super good at tracking your sleep. So I really want it for that. And I really want for tracking your cycle. I'm like, both of those things are like so important. And so I just got like the sizing kit in the mail today. And um, first you like pick one, which, that's the one I think I'm gonna get. You try them on, you see which one kind of fits the best. You're supposed to wear it for 24 hours and then you order it. So my ring size like for my um, engagement ring is a five <laughs> and that even feels big sometimes. But I tried this six on and I literally could barely get it off my fingers. So it's like, okay, that can't be right. Cause it was like painful. So then I tried the seven on and I was like, okay, like I feel like this is the I try it on for five minutes and I'm immediately like, let's order it. But I still do want to test it out a little bit and make sure that the seven is good. But when I say I'm so excited to start using this, you guys, like I'm just so curious of what it will say for my sleep. I think it's literally going to be like, mm, your sleep is at a 20 score and you are not ready. Because I guess there's like a readiness for the day. So that is my latest like exciting thing I'm getting. It's early birthday present because my birthday is this month. Wow. Oh, I'm be old. <laughs> but okay, guys, now I need to go shower, take off this makeup. Um, and then today, or tomorrow, sorry, we are going to a Reds baseball game. So I'm excited. We usually like to go like once a year, so that'll be fun. Also, Morgan and Logan got like a new cat tree for Captain, so they gave us our old one, <laughs> their old one, and look at our cats. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying it? Like, look how cool it is, you guys. 
so many places for them to play. <laughs> Do you like it, Buster Boy? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so cute. Okay, sorry, I know I'm annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna go shower and I will take you guys. Okay, this is my red game fit. You guys, we got this actually last year, I think, this um hat. Then it's just a typical aloe tank top and my little skirt. <laughs> Cause I'm not kidding you guys, it is so hot here. We are back to like the 90s, extremely hot. Um, I'm not even gonna wear makeup, honestly. I'm gonna just wear sunglasses in this hat and call it good. This hair is from yesterday. <laughs> Super sporty cute for um, the game today. Also, I wanted to kind of go back to the video where I am sobbing about Kayla and Hakeem and just kind of tell you guys like that is the super awful side of the NFL, like awful. You become so close with the people in your town, city, team, and then like in an instant, gone. They move away and it's it's hard because like obviously think about it it's hard when you even move away from a friend that like you knew was gonna move away right so imagine just not knowing and then all of a sudden they're moving so that's why i was so sad because we've gotten so close um but that's the reality of this business so Take it or leave it. <laughs> but um, we're gonna go to the Reds game and then we're gonna go just, I gotta record BBH and stuff and that like after, and then we're gonna go to Morgan and Logan's for dinner with Trey and Alicia. And um, Kayla's coming with us too, so that'll be so special. <laughs> but basically, yeah, that is our Sunday, you guys. And then Monday tomorrow, they are back in business with practice and then, I gotta giddy up because I'm about to start in-person training and um, next weekend is the Cincy Fitness Sampler. So I just got a lot of planning to do, but time for the game, you guys. Go baseball. <laughs> Bye. What? I just went on a walk with Kayla and Morgan and it was just like, it was so nice. Honestly, I just love them so much. And the way I'm gonna close out this, um, this vlog is of us just like hugging on our walk just because Kayla literally leaves on Thursday. So, look at my cat. Hi, KK. He's just literally in the way. <laughs> um, so I'm going, I'm gonna close out the vlog with a little video of us hugging. And it's not goodbye. We are going to visit her in Minnesota and then also the Vikings play Cincy in December. So she's gonna come back and visit us. So we already have plans to see each other, so it's okay. Um, I feel like I didn't really like show you guys that much in this vlog, but, <laughs> but since the season is beginning, I'll be able to show you a lot more, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed it. I love talking to you guys. I know I just literally talk like BS the whole time, but I really do love talking to you guys. <laughs> it's so fun and I'm excited to like, kind of share game days again. And I didn't even vlog last year, obviously, since I'm new to this. So it'll be fun to vlog some home and away games. So my guys, my cats are distracting me. There's so many of them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so the next one I'm going to do is going to be a um, vlog of the games. I already have my first outfit picked out for the first home game. I'm excited. I think we do like an oversized t-shirt with some high boots. I'm kind of fun. My sister-in-law just did it, so I'm completely copying her. <laughs> but for the first game next weekend, it's away in Cleveland. I'm just going to go super casual, honestly. Away games, I feel like, typically do. But, okay guys, I'm going to end this. Thank you for watching. I literally love you guys all so much. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>